Okay, so the next question is, um, how do you think is GE main preparation different from GE advanced preparation? And what do you think when a person starts preparing for JE, what he should actually go for and how must he proceed with it? Like, how is GE main different from GE advanced and what must a person pursue? I feel that uh, GE, GE mains is a little bit more about the time, uh, time management and how quickly can you arrive to the answer. At times, uh, I have seen people who don't really know all the intricacies and fundamentalities of the topic yet. If they just know how to solve the question, the steps to follow, uh, then they can get through JE mains with a pretty good performance because in JE mains, the type of questions that you mostly get are uh, what are what you have seen before. They are like kind of a standard st standard questions. You just need to be accurate and fast. But uh, that the same does not hold true for J Advanced, where uh, there are some questions that will totally leave you baffled and take you unaware. And you just uh, and you need to know the topics uh, in a very intricate manner. All the intricacies and the fundamentalities you need to know uh, to actually solve all the questions properly in J Advanced. When it okay, so like when it comes to the preparation, I don't think that an aspirant should make a distinction whether he wants to pursue J Mains or J Advanced. At least during the initial st stages, he should not. The clarity should be more on I, uh, one concept building should always be the case. And second, obviously, you should uh, try solving papers within limited time constraints. So I guess that would help the cause that Ali raised. No, uh, you can get admission into IIT only through J Advance. So if if your motive is to get into an IIT, then obviously you have to start preparing for J Advance. And uh, uh, speaking of the difference, obviously J Advance is a lot different, uh, lot different than J E mains. You can get, get through, as Ali said, you can get through J E mains with uh, you know, like uh, you can uh, pass J E mains. But to go through J E Advance, you have to be deserving. You have to work hard. It requires a lot of concept building and uh, fundament, fundament, fundamentalities. In my case, I never really like prepared separately for JME and the J Advance. I feel that like uh, if you really focus on the fundamentals and you like try to increase the level of problems as you go forward and you try to like solve problems in a time bound situation, you'll be preparing for both. So I would say like try to prepare for both if, uh, in the starting at least. Yeah, as Solve said. And in the end, I did like like in the end, I would say like uh, I started preparing for J means a bit more like I started solving a J means type papers more. And while like after J means I started solving like a dance type papers more. So that's a distinction, I guess, that after, at the end you should probably change your studying strategy a bit. But initially, I just like focused on concepts and just uh, increasing my problem solving skills.